Whether flying front or rear float, your goal should be to immediately present yourself vertically to the relative wind. Rather than falling out shoulders first, both jumpers should launch off the plane leading with their hips. This will cause their torsos to be parallel with the airplane's fuselage and therefore correctly presenting them to the relative wind in the sit-fly position. The relative wind is directionally opposite to the direction of travel. When a skydiver exits the aircraft, the relative wind emanates from the direction the airplane is facing due to the skydiver's initial horizontal momentum. As the aerodynamic drag gradually overcomes this forward momentum and simultaneously gravity attracts the skydiver downward, the relative wind alters proportionally into a vertical direction. This creates an arc of travel for the skydiver and creates a variation in the angle of the relative wind from horizontal to vertical. Flying down the hill can be challenging since your sight picture changes and you cannot use the horizon to orient yourself to wind coming from directly below. So for the first 8 seconds of the skydive, you'll have to adapt your flying style. Press into the relative wind with both heels and raise your sternum. Keep your elbows high at about shoulder level. Access Flight School created this video as an educational guideline. As always, we encourage you to seek out additional information and professional coaching. For more information, please visit our website at accessflightschool.com.